everyone, it's Beauty by Gigi. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but I'm back and I'm not going to bore you with all the reasons why I wasn't making videos um, because that's honestly irrelevant and it doesn't really matter and I know all you guys want to see this video. So today what I have for you is going to be a huge collective haul. This was all throughout the summer leading up basically to back to school, so don't think that I got this all at once. Also another disclaimer, just the fact that I bought all this with my own money because I do have a job. So yeah, you know, everybody has to make those little disclaimers, but I know you guys want to and I know I want to, so let's just get right into the video. So to start, I went to Forever 21, as you know, the famous yellow bag, and I got, the first thing that I got was actually from the kids section. And it is this little white button up and it has a Peter Pan neckline. It's super cute, it's a kids nine to 10, but it honestly fit me perfectly and it was really inexpensive, it was only $12. So I got that. Then I got these really, really cute denim joggers. I don't know if you can see that but they're cuffed at the bottom and they're adorable they're super comfy and i just feel like they'll be really cute to wear throughout the school year not only for comfort but also for style the next thing i got was this really adorable um denim dress it has multiple tones and it has little pockets right here so it's really cute it's pretty soft denim and i just think it's very 60s-esque and i'm really excited to wear it the next thing I picked up at Forever 21 is kind of boring, it's just a pack of socks because I lose socks all the time and they're really cheap at Forever 21, so yeah. So finally from Forever 21 I got two pieces of jewelry, they're both necklaces, one of them is a gold necklace that is kind of like layered almost and it has like little different size circles on it so it's really cute. And then going along with that kind of geometric theme, I got this um, little silver necklace that has like triangles and circles, and it's also very cute. I don't have a lot of jewelry, um, and I feel like with Forever 21 jewelry, it's so inexpensive that if I were to lose it, I wouldn't be like super duper sad about it. So the next place I went was Francesca's, and I only got a few little things there. The first thing I picked up was this adorable little jewelry dish. It has a little bird um, resting on a log and it is ceramic. And inside it, they were having a really good sale on jewelry when it was buy one get one half off. So I first got these really pretty kind of turquoisey earrings with gold accent. And then I got these dangly earrings that have these little um, textured plates on them. And they're both really, really pretty, and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of them. I always wear the same earrings, so I was really excited to pick something up that was new and kind of, like, something I'd never tried before. The next place I went was Champs, and at Champs I got a pair of shoes that I've been wanting for a super long time. And those are the Nike Air Force Ones um, in the shorts. I originally wanted the mid tops, but they didn't carry them in my size, and they almost didn't carry the, these ones in my size, but I actually got them in a boys youth five and a half, because I am a seven, and they're actually cheaper that way. I believe they're $75, and along with this, I got some sneaker cleaner just so that if they get dirty, I can clean them up, but yeah. Another pair of shoes I got was from the Nike running store, um, and I just needed a brand new pair of um, running shoes because mine were really, really old. They were, I think, believe three years old, so I definitely needed a new pair. And they are the Nike Lunar Dynamic Support Lunar Lawn, whatever. I mean, they look like this. They're really comfortable and they have a lot of arc support, which I need for my feet. Um, and I'll be able to use them not only at gym class at school, but also just like to exercise on a daily basis. The next pair of shoes I got were from Steve Madden, and these are a really, really cute pair of slip-ons. A lot of people I know have the ones that are blue, but these ones I saw and I instantly fell in love with because they're like this taupe colored and they've got that really nice quilted pattern. 
And these are super comfortable and I don't own a pair of slip-ons, so now I do. And these are gonna look cute, I know, with a bunch of outfits, not only for summer, but for um, the fall and winter months as well. The final pair of shoes I got was from a store called Call It Spring, and I have been eyeing these shoes for a very long time. Um, and I finally splurged and got them. They really weren't that expensive, they were $50, but I still just, I'm so in love with them and they're so comfortable. They're these white platform sandals and they're really well made. I believe they're real leather, I'm not entirely sure, but they're really in, very, very comfortable and they give me some nice height, but yeah, I'm just like absolutely in love with them. The next place I went was Patagonia and Patagonia was having a 50% off all of their summer stuff sale because they want to get rid of it which was good for me because I was able to pick up one of their fleeces. I already have one of these and I'm in love with it, but I figured because it gets so cold where I live, it would be a good idea to invest in another one, especially because in the winter, all I want to wear is cozy things like sweaters, sweatshirts, and things like that, and this fleece is to die for. So this one is really cute. I'm not sure what the pattern is called, but it is one of the women's cinchilla and I got it for $49 because it was tax free week. So $49 for these fleece, they're usually a hundred. So it was a really amazing deal and I can't wait for it to get cold so I can wear this. The next place I went was Bath and Body Works. I go there all the time for candles. I actually have one burning behind me and they were having one of their candle deals where you could get two of them for $24, which if you know Bath & Body Works, you know that their candles are usually like $23 each, so that was an amazing deal. So I picked up two fall candles and two summery candles. The first candle I picked up is Sweater Weather, and it smells so good. It almost has like a fruity aroma, kind of mixing in with just like crisp fall air, and it's the description says it's our invigorating blend of aromatic eucalyptus, juniper berry, and fresh sage is as crisp as fall air. It has this really pretty detailing on the front. The next fall candle I got was one that I always purchase every year and it's Marshmallow Fireside. And like that's the best way to describe it because it has a smoky scent but also smells like marshmallow and it's not too sweet. So I really, really enjoy this candle. And I'm pretty sure that's like the fourth time I've bought it. The next candle I got is one, another one that I repurchased again and again, and it's Limoncello, and it just smells like really, really good lemon sorbet, and again, it's not too sweet or artificial, because that, those kind of scents kind of get to me, but it's a really, really nice summery scent, but also one that like kind of reminds you of summer when it does get colder. And the final candle that I got from Bath & Body Works is called Beach Cabana. This scent is super duper clean. It is kind of reminiscent of um, fresh laundry or when you freshly spritz your room with really nice air freshener, but their description of it is, the, the air under a beach cabana is filled with fragrant sweet jasmine, orange blossom, and a hint of fluffy white towels, which I think is a perfect way to describe it. Um, I'm definitely gonna be burning all of these candles quite a lot. That's usually what I do is I buy a bunch of the candles and I burn through try to burn through them entirely before I buy more and I always get a lot of use out of them and a lot of compliments when people come into my home and say like oh my god it feels so good in here it's Bath and Body Works candles baby so the next place I went was Sephora um, I literally cannot go in there without buying something it's really bad but I hadn't been in in a while and I picked up a couple things that I've been eyeing for a while. So the first thing I got and the most expensive is the Vita Liberata um, Certified Organic Botanicals Dark Tanning Mousse. And basically it's a self tanner. Um, I have skin cancer that runs in my family. My mom has had it twice. And so I'm super cautious about the sun even though I'm naturally olive skinned and can tan re really easily and have actually never gotten a sunburn. But just to be safe and to still have that really healthy glow that I so love, um, I read a lot of reviews. I've used the St. Tropez and it's okay. I'm really not in love with it. But when I was at Sephora, um, the man who was helping me told me that he loved this and people love this and it's a great tanner that lasts. So I picked up that along with the tanning mitt because mine was kind of yucky. Um, the next thing I got was the Hourglass Veil Primer. 
And this stuff is pricey, but I'm pretty sure it was around $18 for the smallest bottle that they had, just because I had never used it and I wanted to give it a good try. But the bottle is class, it's really chic and sleek. And I tried it today and I actually really like it. I'm going to keep using it and maybe I'll let you guys know how I like it with continued use. But yeah, I was excited to pick that up. And the next thing I got was one of Benefit's box blushes, which is Dallas, and it's the one that's kind of a cross between a blush and a bronzer. As you can see, it's pretty nice and natural, so that's going to be a good blush for back to school because I don't really have a lot of blush, and I really like blush, so I wanted to get a new one. The next thing I got was this, which is a healthy deodorant. I hear all the time about how bad deodorant is for you and how it can give you cancer, but I'm not going to wake up and go to work or go to school without putting deodorant on. So when I was in the checkout line at Sephora, I actually saw this and it's in the scent um, Lavender Vanilla. And it's 100% natural, it doesn't have aluminum or parabens, and it's clinically tested and dermatologist recommended. And it twists off. It smells really good, the size is really nice, and it's something that I'd be super comfortable just tossing into my purse because it's not a, like a super big deodorant and it's clear so it won't get messy. So I'm really excited about that. And the final beauty product I got was actually from Macy's and it's a MAC lipstick, the one I'm wearing right now in the shade Velvet Teddy. I'm in love with this lipstick. Honestly, if you're looking for any type of lipstick to start the year with, this is the one to get. It lasts so well, and even when it fades, it fades nicely and not blotchy. And also, just the color works for all seasons, so you really don't have to worry about buying a new lipstick. It's creamy, it's amazing. Velvet Teddy from MAC is my favorite lipstick now. So the next place I went to was Brandy Melville, and I bought quite a few things there. I went on a couple of different, I bought things a couple of different, bleh. I bought things there on a couple different occasions, and I'm just going to show you all of them. Brandy is definitely my favorite clothing line. I think their clothes fit me the best, because I am on the petite side. So it's just really comfortable. Cost-wise, it's really reasonable. So yeah. So one of the first things I got, which I've already worn, is this really, really cute button-down denim top. And it's on button right now, but it has cuffed sleeves and a pocket in front, and it's really, really adorable and soft. The next thing I got from Brandy was this really adorable um, gray backpack. It's really soft, it's almost like a sweatshirt material. And I think it's perfect because it also has these wide straps that are feel really, really nice and durable. And I'll be able to, f I know I'll be able to fit my school things in it and also have like a cute backpack because my backpacks have always been big and ugly and I don't want to take away from my cute outfits during the school day. So, got a backpack. The next thing I got was this really, really cute um, soft long sleeve gray tee. There's not much to say about it. I like it. It's nice. The next thing I got was this dress and it's like a, it's a take on a t-shirt dress, but it has these kind of mid-length sleeves and kind of tapers out. It's really pretty and soft and I'm excited to wear it. The next thing I got was this um, kind of salt and pepper loose fitting cardigan and it's on the thicker side so it's going to be really nice to have during fall. I also picked up another cardigan. This one's in a cream color and it's much thinner so it's lighter so I can wear it in the summer and at the beginnings of fall and during spring but it's really pretty. It's the same sort of style. I also picked up a pair of their Rosa sweatpants. I've owned a pair of these before. I'm pretty sure one of my friends took them, but also they were old. They were a couple years old, so they weren't as soft anymore, but I got them in a light wash, and honestly, these are the softest and most comfy sweatpants ever. Plus, they're not, they're baggy, but they're not super baggy, so you could wear them to school and not get judged, because let's be honest, midterms, finals, we all get to that point where you just want to be done and go to sleep. So why not wear clothes that you would sleep in to school? Next thing I got, I actually got at PacSun, but in the brandy section. And it is this kind of cropped sweatshirt that says rad on it, and the rad is almost like velvety. 
and it's super soft just like the sweatpants and it's so comfortable and I've already gotten uh, like a bajillion com compliments on it so I'm psyched to be able to wear that to school. Next thing I got at Brandy is this really cute simple um, tank top. It's got a, it's a really soft cottony knit material and it fits just right so it's not a crop top but with my jeans it ends perfectly together if you get what I'm saying and so I'm really psyched about it. It's really cute. The thing I got from Brandy is this adorable green army utility jacket whatever you want to call it. It's hooded and it's the perfect length. It's not too long but it's not cropped so it's not too short and it's pretty thick and it feels pretty durable so I think it'll last me a while and I think it'll be a great addition to my closet for the fall season. So from PacSun I also got this pair of Brandy Melville socks, which I've never seen before. They're really, really soft and awesome. They're so comfortable. And they have these really cute ruffles at the top. So I know I'll get a lot of wear out of these, especially in like really in nice like leather boots or stuff during the fall. And then I also got this beautiful mock neck dress that's ribbed and it kind of is an A-line cut. And it's so cute. I don't, know, I don't own anything like this and I actually don't own that many dresses so I feel like I can dress this up or dress this down and look really nice either way. Okay, so I'm very close to being done with this haul but the next place, the second to last place I have things from are from Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, this is actually the first time I bought anything from there but it's two pairs of jeans because they're having a really good sale. I think their jeans were $39 but one of these was on clearance for like $23 so it was like such a good deal. But these ones are really nice light wash flare jeans. As you can see like the bottom are flared and they have like kind of some tasteful rips on them. I like them because they're not super destroyed so I don't have to worry like if I wash them are my jeans going to fall apart or become shorts. Um, and they're really nice jean. They're soft, they're comfortable, and I got them for a great price. I think they're originally like 60 something and I got them for like $23. So such a good deal. And then the other pair of jeans I got is a dark wash pair which has more rips. And these are on the skinnier side, but what I like to do is cuff the bottoms because it looks really nice like that. And they are a little bit of a higher rise. They're not high waisted, but they're really cute. I really like them and I really needed new jeans. The last place that I am going to be hauling from is actually a website. Um, this website actually was kind enough to send me some awesome clothes. Um, I will be posting a picture of Instagram on Instagram of me in them soon, but they're from a store called beautifulthreads.com and they sell adorable rompers and play suits and shorts and dresses for a pretty good price. So I got two, well three things, but two outfits from there. So the first one I got is this really, really beautiful cream romper with floral print design. It's a low cut, so I definitely will be wearing a bralette with this. And the bottom has like lace detailing, but it's so pretty and fun and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it and hopefully a lot of compliments. <laughs> And then the final thing that I will be hauling today is also from that website, and it is an outfit. It's a two-piece outfit, so here's the top. It is cropped, so it has this really pretty top. And then the bottoms are shorts that are high-waisted, and which is really awesome. They have pockets, so I'll be able to actually have functional use out of these. Okay, so now I am officially tired from doing all that, but I got through it and so did you. So thank you for watching if you watched the whole video. I know it was a long haul, but um, this was from like months and months of getting ready for school. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon.